Hey guys, welcome to this video. So today I'm going to be making a pair of pyjama shorts from some scrap fabric from a project I previously did. Um, the scrap fabric is actually from a bed sheet, so it's nice and light and comfortable for pyjamas, um, especially in the hot weather. So have a look and, and see how I made the shorts and I hope you guys all enjoy. Okay, so I'm starting out with just drafting a pattern for the shorts. I never actually drafted a pattern before, so I actually looked it up on YouTube, watched a couple of different tutorials. I also got a couple of different pairs of shorts that I owned and I knew fit me well, and had a look at the shapes and sizes of those. Um, and then I kind of just winged it from there. Uh, so I'm currently doing the back. I kind of traced a bit of the front part and then copied it and made it a bit longer. Um, now for these pattern pieces, so you will you you'll need to cut out two of each, um, two of the front, two of the back, and I put a half inch seam allowance on on all around there. Um, so yeah. Now I'm just ironing the fabric out before I cut out the pattern pieces. I've actually made the mistake before of not ironing out my pattern or my fabric before I cut it out and you know when I cut it out it's just all wrinkly and it's actually not a very good piece. Generally the pattern, the shape is all wonky and it just doesn't work very well. So you can see there I was actually using jars filled with uh, bits and bobs as uh, pattern weights. I do need to make some pattern weights, so if that's something you'd be interested in seeing, let me know and I can make a video of it. Now I, was, I also was gonna use my rotary cutter, but the blade is a little bit blunt, so I, I went ahead with scissors. Now there, I'm just using my pocket pattern. That's the pattern I use for all of my pockets and anything I make. Um, so I'm cut out four pieces of the pocket pattern and I'm going to have a pocket on each side of the shorts. Okay, so now I'm just pinning in place. The first thing I am sewing together is the two front sides. So I went down and I, I sewed around the curved edge and stopped um, before it went into the leg of the shorts. off trying it on trying it up for size there and it, it worked so I went ahead and did the same on the back side pinned before I sew now I know a lot of people would prefer if you tacked but I find tacking very boring so I just don't do it which is probably not very good um, so yeah I'm just sewing again around the curved edge and stopping before the leg of the shorts Okay, so now I'm just sewing the pockets all around. Uh, you don't need to go right sides together because that way the seam would actually be inside the pocket. So you can just sew the two pieces together, leave it um, just flat like that, and then uh, have a drink of coffee. So yeah, again, I'm just doing that on the other pocket. Okay, so now that I have that done, I'm going to iron the flaps down. Just have a little dance before you start ironing, of course, always have a little dance. So I didn't get it quite in shot here, but I think I do in a second. So you need to iron down, yeah, just the flaps where you're going to be sewing the pocket into the, uh, the shorts. Um, now I'm just pinning the sides together, so that's the front and the back being pinned together. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to pin it and then sew it, leaving a gap for the pocket, there you'll see I'm measuring up where I'm going to leave the gap, um, and then I'm going to sew the pocket in after I've sewed the, sewed the seams up the side. Okay, 
yet so you can see I just left the gap there and I continued on further down. Okay, and I'm just folding it over to make sure I get them at the same level on each side because I don't think it'd be very comfortable having a pocket on a different level on each side. Now, originally these weren't actually going to be pyjama shorts, but I found out when I finished them that they were actually a little bit see-through, so they ended up being for pyjamas. Um, so, you know, no harm in having pockets in whatever you have, but you know, pockets are so handy. So, so yeah, I'm just sewing this all up again and leaving the gap again for the pocket. Okay, so now that's all done, I'm just sewing the legs up. So what you're going to do is, if you lay it out flat, you'll see there's a kind of square. Um, and on either side, there'll be the leg hole. So sew along and make sure all the seams that you've already sewn up are kind of flat. Otherwise, they'll lay uncomfortably. And then, yeah, just tack or, and, or sorry, pin and sew. I don't know why I said tack, because I never attack okay so that's done so now I'm pinning the pockets in into that gap that I left earlier on so pin it in and try and make sure the ironed edges are as close to each other as possible so yeah I just ironed down the seams before I did that just to make my life a little bit easier up not ironing down the whole seam but just just enough to make sure it's flat around where you're going to be sewing. Okay yeah, so I'm, I'm pinning it in there and once I've pinned it in I'm going to sew the pocket in one side at a time. And this, this is probably about my fourth or fifth pocket ever. Uh, the first time I made a pocket, I actually sewed it in upside down, um, which was very annoying because then I had to go in and unpick it. But to be honest, I thought pockets would be a lot harder than I found them to be. Um, I think I was kind of uh, putting it on the long finger for a little while there because I was worried it was going to be really, really hard. Mm -hmm but it's not as hard as I anticipated, so I was quite ha uh, happy about that. So I seem to be having a problem the other day when I was making these shorts. My machine kept snapping the thread. It was so infuriating and I had to keep threading the machine, which is fine. It's, it's not a difficult thing to do, but when you have to do it over and over again, it's just so frustrating. I think the tension might be out. I need to get that checked. Okay, so now I am just checking where I'm going to put the waistband now that all the pockets are in and everything else is done. So I'm going to iron down all the seams nice and flat so that they're not bulky when I'm trying to sew. Just less layers for the, the needle to go through makes it a little bit smoother. So yeah, just fold it down. I'm going to fold it over twice. I just had to put the ironing board up a little bit more there just because it was so low and my back was starting to ache.
Okay, so here I'm just sewing as close to the edge as possible so I can put some elastic through. Originally I was going to have it fitted with darts, but I didn't have a zip, so I decided to use an elastic. And the elastic actually came from the same bed sheet, which was handy, so I didn't have to go and buy any extra uh, materials for this project, which was great. So yeah, I actually didn't have a safety pin, so I used a bobby pin and kind of just threaded the elastic through with that. So you just have to make sure to leave a hole uh, to put the elastic through. So yeah, here's the finished product. I was actually quite happy with it. Um, for a first attempt, I thought it was really good. And sadly, they were a bit see-through, uh, but they make great pajama shorts. So thank you for watching the video. I hope you all enjoyed it. And if you did like it and you'd like to see more, please let me know and I'll be making another video soon enough. Um, but until then, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys soon. Bye!